What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me today. We're going to talk more about some players that we've talked about before, but there's been some new information that came out about these players. Just yesterday, we talked about Legereus Sneed and the possibility of him not getting franchise tagged and possibly being able to sign with the Colts, right? Being projected to sign with the Colts. But then yesterday, somewhere around 5 o'clock, you know, somewhere 4 or 5 o'clock, it came out that Legereus Sneed is probably going to get franchise tagged by the Chiefs, and the plan is to either have LeJarrius Sneed on the franchise tag for them, or they are completely open to franchise tagging them and then trading them. So they're not just going to let them walk out the building is basically what this says, right? They're, you can't just leave us. You're too good to just leave. We're going to find a way to make a deal so that we can get something back for you. So then the question becomes, right, if we're going to keep talking about this and are we going to acquire this guy, what's it going to cost? for us to go get Legereus Need, And also, I want to bring into this conversation T. Higgins because I saw a report that the same thing could happen for T. Higgins where it could just be their franchise tagging them and they're open to the fact that they could trade them. I believe it was the Bengals GM that said that they would be open to trading T. Higgins if a deal came in and was good enough. So I want to start here with Legereus Sneed. I feel like this is an easier conversation to have. And when you're looking at Legereus Sneed, like I went back, I went on Spotrack, went back a few years. I'm trying to find something that would be similar in terms of value for a trade. And the one that I really came up with was a Jalen Ramsey trade from the Rams to the Dolphins, and that happened March 12th of 2023. Okay, Jalen Ramsey was making $17 million. He got signed by the Dolphins after the trade, and now he's making $18.3 million for the Dolphins. So he got a pay raise after being traded. And the important thing here is that he was only one year older than what Legereus Sneed is right now. Jalen Ramsey was 28 when he got traded. And Legereus Sneed is only 27 years old. Or not only 27, getting close to that 30 mark, but he's 27 years old. So roughly the same age as Jalen Ramsey, roughly the same situation. Jalen Ramsey wanted a new contract. And here you had the Rams who really just wanted to rebuild. And they had, I think, 14 draft picks last year. So that was part of it. The Jalen Ramsey deal was definitely part of that. And if you look at the Jalen Ramsey deal and what Jalen Ramsey got traded for, right? Miami got Jalen Ramsey and that was it. No picks, no other players, just Jalen Ramsey. The Rams got Hunter Long, a tight end who was barely making anything. And a 2023 third round pick. Okay, and that's the value that the Rams were able to get for one of the best corners in the NFL. And to understand that deal, you have to understand leverage, right? The, the leverage was there for the Dolphins. The Rams were trying to get rid of them. They wanted to get rid of a big contract. They wanted to get rid of somebody that was getting closer to 30. They want to rebuild their team and make it younger. So the Rams parted ways with them for a little bit cheaper. So this is what I've come up with, okay? If we were to trade for Legereus Sneed, what I think we should do is see if we can't package Alec Pierce along with a 2024 third-round pick and see if that's enough to get Legereus Sneed because, again, leverage. In this situation, the Chiefs don't have a whole lot of leverage. They're either going to have Legereus Sneed for $18.8 million on the franchise tag and not have a long-term deal, and then maybe he leaves next year for nothing, or they can try to get Alec Pierce and get a draft pick for this year, and in return, the Colts can get a cornerback, a veteran cornerback, a locked-down cornerback to come into the building in luxurious Sneed, right? And I think that trade-off would be fair. And yes, it would be nice to have that third-round pick, but for that third-round pick, like, think about it. Alec Pierce has been disappointing so far. That third-round pick, like we're getting Legereus Sneed. Let's just say those cancel out. Then you got to worry about how do we replace Alec Pierce? And of course, you would talk about Michael Pittman Jr. needing to be in the building. Josh Downs is already here. He's good. So then if this is the route we're going to go, then in that first round, that's where you draft a wide receiver, whether that's Keon Coleman, or whether that's Brian Thomas Jr., right? There are different options in that first round that we believe we'll have at wide receiver, or maybe that even ends up being Brock Bowers if he falls in the draft and he's versatile enough to go around. We can design things. Shane Steichen's smart. 
I would trust him to make things happen. Ashton Doolin's coming back. A lot of us like him. So there are options for the Colts, okay? I think Alec Pierce would be a good piece. Like, to be able to throw in, it's not like I'm saying just throw in Alec Pierce because he is Hunter Long. Like, Alec Pierce has a better career than Hunter Long. Alec Pierce is valuable in certain ways. But, like, in my mind, I'm thinking the Chiefs, they need more wide receivers, and maybe they could find a way to add Alec Pierce into what they're trying to do. Patrick Mahomes having the escapability that he has and being able to toss the ball down the field to Alec Pierce. Maybe that's something that would be attractive to the Chiefs, whereas for us, bringing in LeJarius Sneed would solidify the secondary, somebody that can make things happen immediately and could have an instant impact in our lineup and again then we go draft a rookie with that number 15 overall pick we keep our first round pick again because of leverage that's what people need to remember it's not unrealistic to get Legarius Sneed without giving up a first round pick now the thing that could change that is a bidding war. how many teams are going to be in on trying to get Legarius Sneed who is a very good cornerback a lot of teams presumably are going to want to bid on that. So maybe third round pick isn't enough. If we have to give up the first round pick, I say don't do it. But I think second round pick or third round pick later, of course, um, if it's possible to make that happen, to throw in Alec Pierce in one of those picks to get LeJarrius Sneed, I think that's something the Colts should consider and something that I'd be fine with. Now, T. Higgins is where it gets complicated because then are you going to trade Alec Pierce in one of those picks for T Higgins. I don't know. Like the, the Bengals would be silly to make that the trade that they want in the period that they're in now where they're trying to win a championship with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase on their rookie contracts. It just makes sense that like they wouldn't want Alec Pierce. So would they want Mo Ali Cox, right? A lot of people saying we should get rid of Mo Ali Cox. So does he get thrown into a trade? Is he the hunter long? of that trade, right? Because again, the leverage is with somebody other than the Bengals. Okay. The Bengals, whoever gets Legarius Sneed or whoever gets T Higgins, they're going to be paying a large contract, which is also why the value and the leverage is with the opposite team, right? The, the leverage would be with us in that regard, because we're going to give them a big contract. So we're going to give you lesser of a draft pick, less compensation straight up because we're giving this player more compensation when we get them. So that's where it gets tricky for wide receivers, especially as much as wide receivers are making what the salary cap is. Do you give, you know, do you trade for T Higgins and then give T Higgins a contract? And then you have Michael Pittman on the franchise tag. I think it'd probably be better to sign Michael Pittman Jr. And then you trade for T Higgins and have T Higgins play on the franchise tag for us this year and try to figure something out along the way. So that's why I think it's tricky with T Higgins. I don't know if that's something that the Colts should try to do, but Legarius Sneed is something that I could see happening. And Legarius Sneed is something that I think the Colts should at least consider if he gets franchise tagged, at least consider what it's going to be, make that call and see what it's going to take to get him in the building. Cause while I do enjoy having Dallas Flowers. I think Dallas Flowers is underrated. People forget about him because he was hurt. Dallas Flowers is a good cornerback. He's also a really good returner. So I think having Dallas Flowers is valuable. I also like Juju Brents. I think Juju Brents needs to start. But Jalen Jones, I felt like, showed enough to be somebody that's in the lineup. He's going to be a really good depth piece if Dallas Flowers and Juju Brents are the starters. So the way I'm feeling about it is Legarius Sneed would be an extremely valuable piece, um, but is it going to be likely to happen? With him being franchise tagged, is it still likely to happen? It's a little more up in the air than it was just yesterday. So let me know your opinion on all this with everything that's changing, right? Day by day, we're in that part of the offseason where day by day more information is going to come out. Things are going to change so rapidly. Reports here, reports there. I want to know your opinion on this. You let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you can continue to get notified of all the different videos that we have covering free agency and the draft, combine coming up. We're going to cover as much of it as possible. So make sure you have those notifications turned on so you're getting notified when the videos come out. Of course, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.